Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Jen. Welcome back to another video. I made a post on Instagram a few days ago telling you guys to ask me questions and I'll answer them. So, here is the video. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. you guys try to be up in my personal business but it's not gonna work but anyways I'm not gonna answer all the questions I got quite a few of them in my inbox but um, I think I got about 80 or so of them I'm not gonna answer all of them I'm just gonna answer a few of them so let's get started My first question was, how old are you really? How old do I look? I am 41, and that's my God honest true age. I was born in 79, so I am 41. Just turned 41. I have been told that, I've, that I look much younger than 41, which I do. But anyways, then the next question is, how do you feel about social media? For me, it's fun. I don't take social media seriously. I just do it for leisure time. Um, but on another hand, social media can become quite dangerous because you do have some people out there who take everything on social media personal. It's not that serious, guys. Don't do that. The next question, and this one I find so freaking funny. I freaking almost fell off my chair when I read this question. It says, rumor has it that you're a lesbian. To me, it sounds like a statement or they're telling me something. That doesn't seem like you're asking me anything. But anyways, I'm going to answer that. Rumor, rumor has it that you're a lesbian. Where is the rumor coming from? That's my question. And the key word, rumors. Don't always listen or believe everything you hear. Especially when the rumors are coming from jackasses. Okay? Now, whoever is spreading this rumor, ask them to go and ask their mother, their sister, their niece, or their aunt if I'm really a lesbian. Next question. How comes you do not come and defend what is said about you on IG? Hmm. That's a good question. Now, my answer to this question is, I will not allow deranged jackasses, deranged lunatics, people who are trying desperately to fit in to this so-called so social media life to steal my peace, my joy, and my happiness. In other words, I refuse to let a vulture or back home in Jamaica, then we said drunk girl, feel like a hummingbird. Next question, how is married life? Look at me. Am I not glowing? Don't I look happy? Married life is amazing. And the funny thing is, 
nothing has changed since I got married. The same way I was being treated before I got married is the same way I'm being treated now that I'm married. So nothing really has changed. If anything has changed is that we've grown closer. So, yeah, married life is awesome. I am married to my best, best, best buddy, my best friend, my partner in crime, my right hand, my better half so married life cannot be any better how do you manage to stay so quiet on ig again as i said i refuse to allow this combobulated minds to steal my joy I'm too happy to worry about what people have to say about me. I don't live my life to please anyone. I live my life to please me. I'm too happy. I'm not going to let anybody on IG, Facebook, YouTube, anybody on social media to take away what's mine, which is my peace, my sanity, and my happiness. It won't happen. That not going to happen. <laughs> that will never happen. You will never live to see that happen. So that's how I managed to keep so quiet on IG. I don't argue with people. And a lot of people say a lot of stuff about me on social media, but do I give a flying foot? Nope. Do I give two shits? No. Because at the end of the day, I'm still living my life to please me. So whatever anybody wants to say about me, it doesn't bother me one bit all of this that they're saying to about me on social media or on ig or on wherever it's not true and if it's not true i don't feel the need to come and explain to anyone and i will not waste my precious time to come and justify false news or false rumors about me. If them say it, I don't want to believe it. I don't go on with that. I don't have to come here to come tell them nothing else. If you don't, hey, if you don't want to believe it, maybe we'll go no more if you don't believe. Right? How comes we do not see or hear your kids or spouse in your background? My life is very private. And I've seen some of the stuff that these people do to people's relatives, kids, spouse. And I swear, I will catch a case. I will catch a case for any gal or any boy who decides to want to put my family on social media. I will catch a case. My black ass will be on death row because I'm going to catch a case. Okay. Um, next question. Do you make money off YouTube? On a fussy? Yes, I do make money off YouTube. How much do I make? None of your business. Next question. Actually, this is not even a question. This is actually a statement. I hate you. That's okay. You still watching my videos, no? You still you still took the time out to come and comment on my shit, right? You don't hate me. You're one of my biggest fans. Hi. It is said that your dad died after he found out you're a lesbian. Really? That's the question you really want to ask me? Let me ask you a question. I'm going to use a question to answer this question. The person that is spreading that rumor, where did they get that 
from. Is this the same person? I'm assuming, because I've heard it from this person's mouth. Is this the same person that said that? I don't, I've never sent no money to my father in Jamaica because them call Western Union and Western Union told them that? You and I all both know that if you send money through Western Union and you spell the name incorrectly, you have a hard time changing that. So Western Union is just going to get up and give out information about one of their customers? Crack of shit. So I'm not even going to answer that question because that's just some bull shit. Next question. Do you work? Yes, I do work. I make my own money. I don't steal. I don't sell my ass. And I don't beg. I work for mine. We work for ours. Next question. How many kids do you have? I have three children. Two boys and a girl. How old were you when you had your first child? Now I like this question. You know why I like this question? People on social media running their mouth talking about, oh yeah, catch man from your idea, your knee, and ray, ray, ray. I had my first child when I was 27. It means I wasn't underage. I finished school. I had a job. And I was living my best life. Still living my best life. And then I decided that I'm going to have children. So I, had my, I got pregnant at 26. And I had my first child at 27. Next question. Do you smoke weed? Really, guys? That's what you get. No, I do not smoke weed. Next question. Did you vote for Donald Trump or Biden? Donald Trump can't even get this skin off of me. Donald Trump can't even get me spit. Not even me shit. So that should answer your question. I would never vote for Donald Trump. Never. Never did. Never will. And even if he decides, because rumor has it that he's going to run in the next election, I'm still not getting my vote. Do you have a Facebook account? Yes, I do. Do I use it? Not really. I haven't been on Facebook in like over a year, to be honest with you. So I don't really... I'm not a big uh, Facebook fan, so yeah, no. I have a Facebook, but I don't use it. Next question, where do you see yourself in the next five years? That's a good question. Where do I see myself in the next five years? Still happily married. I don't know if I want any more kids, so I can't even put kids in it. Successful in whatever I put my hands to. And still living my best life. Are you afraid of what people say about you? I think I answered this question before. I don't care what anybody wants to say about me. They can talk all they want as long as they don't touch me or as long as they don't interfere with my family knock yourself out do whatever suits you talk all you want hell if you want some more to talk about just hit, send me a message I'll give you something to talk about I do not live and let me repeat this I do not live my life to please anyone I don't care what people want to say about me. 
I refuse to let anyone steal my joy. So they can make up all the stories they want to make up about me. They could say whatever it is they want to say about me. They could pretend they know the ins and outs of my life. I don't care. Okay. I think that's where I'm going to end it. The rest of these questions, they're just dumb. And not relevant whatsoever. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope I answered all your questions. Well, the ones that I did answer, I hope you're satisfied with the answers. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.